Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Subculture Live. So exciting announcements tonight. I'm very excited to have not just one, but two special guests. First, we're going to have uh, Keith McIntosh, Showtime Keith, Mr. Showtime. Uh, and then we are going to have joining us Dr. Josh Stone King. So the second announcement we're going to make a little bit later in the show and that one is huge so you guys like don't go anywhere you're going to want to stick around for this one. So first of all you guys know uh, Mr. Showtime, Showtime Keith. He's very transparent with where he's going to be pulling up, where he's going to be competing and um, he uh, up to this point, I kind of thought his uh, entire show schedule was laid out for this season, but uh, he's brought to my attention that he may be adding, or he is adding another show to his schedule, and he's going to announce that tonight. Um, so he's going to be joining us in just a minute. Um, you know, that's something that I think that has just come full circle, maybe in like the last two years, where athletes are announcing the shows that they're going to be at, and I love that. I think that brings so much more attention to the bigger shows. Um, I think it allows the top level competitors to rally together and get on big stages and compete against each other. Uh, only positive things have come from that. And I just want to thank like Natty News Daily. Um, we have uh, we have a couple other outlets, natural bodybuilding outlets that kind of keep us informed where athletes are going and are sharing, the, you know, these stories. We have um, uh, the Natty Game. Uh, he's always posting, uh, you know, in cross organization, like it's all natural organizations. Like I love that a lot of these. Uh, called out a lot of these media pages are really keeping us informed and letting us know where the athletes are going uh, and the athletes themselves so anyway showtime is going to be joining us in just a moment yes I'm killing time but do you guys have any questions hey Holly I see that you're watching how are you it looked like you had an amazing time in St. Augustine uh, so this is actually streaming to Facebook right now and to YouTube so let me know where you guys are watching from um, yeah, I love being able to cross post it. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> so I have you watching on YouTube and your wife watching on Facebook. I love that. So a lot of excitement coming off the Florida Pro now that Daryl, I see, is watching. Um, and so much more exciting stuff coming up this season. So many more big shows. You know, you have the USBF giving out a ton of cash, um, up there, uh, 
at, at their big show here uh, coming up at the end of the year. And I know Showtime is going to be at that one. Uh, the top athletes would be crazy not to be showing up for those large cash payouts. You know, that's up for grabs. Um, we got the Mr. America coming up. You know, you have the OCB Yorton Cup, which is probably going to be, the, it's the first one here on the on the schedule for big, big organization shows, you know. I like to call them end of the year shows, but theirs was pushed back. It's a little earlier in the year this year, uh, which might benefit some of the pros. So we'll see. We'll see. that It'll benefit them in a couple of ways, and I think some of you are... Uh, <laughs> understand what I'm saying some of the some of the pros out there kind of get that hint that I'm dropping but hey 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 Miss Martin how are you thank you for sharing the posts you know when you guys share uh, posts and information that is so helpful and I appreciate it so much um, we are all connected but there's always eyes that uh, you might have that I don't. And that goes for all the natural competitors. So, hey, I have a guest here. It's showtime. Let's bring them in. Let's bring them in. Look at you. How are you? Can you hear me? I can hear him. I've never heard Keith this quiet. Let me text him here. That's okay. He's uh, he's logging in on a different phone, so we'll get him right back. He looked great, and I could hear him. I know you guys could too. <laughs> Let me make sure. That's what you got to love about live TV. So, what do you guys? What show do you think he's pulling up to next? Most of us are pretty familiar with the show schedules. Where do you guys think he's going to be uh, popping in? Pro show, men's physique, what's coming up on the schedule? Any guesses out there? Some of you already know, so you can Hold on, I'm just gonna check. All right, All right here we go. There All we right, go. all right. All right. How are you, Mr. Showtime? What up? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. Sorry for the delay. No worries. <laughs> I was just telling everybody how transparent you are with your show schedule and where you're going to be competing, and um, and. I didn't think there were any more surprises that you could give us, but you informed me recently that there is a new show that you're adding to your schedule this season. And yes, I yes, really, yeah. Why don't you tell us? Let's jump right into it. Just I <laughs> jump right into it. What show are you adding to your schedule? Well. As we know, I'm doing the NGA Southeastern show. My goal was to do that show uh, August 20th, just because I wanted to give me. I I, um, I committed to that show probably two weeks before Florida. There's no rooms that I, I have a new coach this year, so I want to give myself one more try with my coach before we get to the championship seasons. And then I seen this great opportunity, man, that it was hard for me to pass up on. Uh, it's this is Fit Expo, I'm um, in Tampa. And I'm not a huge fan of doing back-to-back -back shows, but <laughs> it like it was a great opportunity not just to showcase bodybuilding, but also to showcase I mean, it's a whole it's a whole experience. So you will get more people there that normally don't come to a bodybuilding show. And um, I have some friends that are actually going to be attending that show in Tampa. So I was like, all right, I'm I'll, I'll make it work because I have literally one more show right after that. So I'll be going on a three show spring uh, spread with that. I love that. So really quick, I'm just going to run a video so people can kind of understand. You mentioned the Tampa, um, the Fit Expo. It's the Ta Tampa Strong and Fitness Expo, which is a huge event. It's at the Tampa uh, Convention Center. And these are just some images of the past event. I'm just going to run this really quick. So 
So you mentioned that that gives you an opportunity to get in front of a lot of people that wouldn't normally be at a bodybuilding show. And as we saw in that quick clip, that place is packed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. I, I got I got my team that's gonna show up with me team showtime. Uh the goats itself gonna be there with me to pump me up that's in its own town. So it's, it's gonna be a fun experience. It's definitely not gonna be an easy prep. Uh, me and my coach actually go see him in Ohio in two weeks. So we'll try to strategize how we're gonna come into these these three shows. Mm -hmm. Um St. Louis is definitely a, a primary focus, but it's gonna be fun, man. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Yes, I'm super, I'll be there. I'm definitely not going to miss out on that. But let's say, um, so it's going, it, it, it's actually a show within a show. So you have, um, Ken Beerley, the ANBF, is actually hosting this bodybuilding show. And he was invited to be part of this Tampa uh, Strength and Fitness Expo. And, you know, like for me, for you, let me ask you this. What do you think that means for natural bodybuilding to have, na to have, to be invited to be part of something like this, something that's growing every year and something that's huge and has um, so many different um, components of strength and fitness, what does that mean to you to see natural bodybuilding being invited to something like this? I think I came on at the perfect time. I felt like, especially from everything that the Call It Out platform that you, Marcus, and Chris created last year, um, and you guys really putting us on the spotlight and bringing more attention to that, and then it just carried over into this year because of the spotlights you guys opened up last year. So this year, bodybuilding, definitely, you're getting people that's more involved than never looked at us. <laughs> as as uh, our particular league, our natural progression uh, leagues, is, you never had as many bigger sponsorships. Like Daryl brought out Chula. Chula never yes. <laughs> been to any, <laughs> any Natty uh, Federation show uh, just because of, I mean, probably just not enough buzz or just never probably even asked. But, and then on top of that, I just got my signature line of Chula just out, which no Natty guy has done that yet. So I thought like it's just the right time to everything. So for them to do a fit expo to bring more attention, why, why right now we at a, a very high point in natural bodybuilding community, I felt like it was a great opportunity just to keep bringing that heat to it. Absolutely. I agree. And congratulations on your line of shorts. I, <laughs> I'm i sure yeah. they're going to be popular. <laughs> it's funny, man, because I, I, people ask me, what's the code for? Ain't no code. It's, I, it's, it's nothing but me offering my show, offering design that I got <laughs> to Chula, but she can spread it throughout everybody else just to bring more attention to the natural body of the community. I don't get anything out of it, which is fine. I, I, but what it, what, it does, what it does is just bring more attention to us as a community and it could it open up the gate for somebody else to have the opportunity. Absolutely. So that's how I kind of seen that. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick. I just want to say, Hey, to Philip, he's watching. Hey, Daryl, um, Keith Holland. Uh, you just made a comment. It says you get to ballot battle Murph again. So I heard that rumor and I wasn't sure <laughs> if it was true, but it, uh, if it is, I'm super pumped. Yeah. That's going to suck. <laughs> so <laughs> I that like all year. <laughs> well, if you read his, we'll, we'll just have a dance off on stage because if oh, just yeah. to piggyback on the post he made today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, just seeing him in Brickhouse go head to head a lot. I think I just took Brickhouse spot this year. <laughs> I think you did. I think you did. <laughs> So that would be exciting. So already we have two top uh, pro men's physique athletes that are committing to that show. And we have another athlete that was announced that, you know, right here in our neck of the woods, Dr. Jay Wright is going to be there. Mm. What? The doctor. That's going to be amazing to see him on stage uh, before he hits the Mr. America later this year and some other shows, some other big shows. So, yeah. All right. Let me bring you back in. So, okay. The other thing that this, um, this excites me about is there are no tickets being sold to this bodybuilding show. Like, if you guys have ever been to any type of expo, you guys are just going to be, like, in the center of, like, this huge, you know, um, Tampa Convention Center. So, oh, wow. anybody, yeah. So, anybody that's there, once you've bought a ticket into the expo, 
whether it's to watch CrossFit or Strongman or just to check out the vendors, you're going to be drawn to the to this bodybuilding stage. People are going to be drawn to the music. They're going to be drawn to the excitement. Um, and it's going to be up there for all eyes to see. And I can't even express how exciting that is and how much exposure that is for natural bodybuilding. Now I'm excited, man. I'm putting I, I'm putting together a nice routine that I'm I'm uh, actually something kind of new. Uh, so I'm putting together something new for that show that I might carry over into the other shows. You see this jacket, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have some special routine, for the, especially because now I know Murph coming. So I definitely got to cook up something special uh, for the individual routine. Yes. Oh wait, wait. We have Murph in the comments here. He says um, I have the IPE Windy City Saturday the twenty seventh. Okay, so does that mean he's doing, he can't be doing the the mm. Saturday, Sunday again? <laughs> no, nah, he's probably, he's probably, uh, who knows what that guy. He can wake up one morning and be like, all right, I'm about to fly. <laughs> I, I didn't even, I forgot that the show was on a Sunday myself until I had to relook at the date. I'm like, oh, it's a Sunday, so I don't have to take any time off from work, so it makes it even easier. You know, and that's another cool thing. It's going to be a two-day event. So the amateurs that are competing on Saturday, which you'll probably have some of your team showtime there on Saturday, the top mm -hmm. two in Open and Masters will have the opportunity to compete on Sunday as well if they choose to. So I think that's kind of a, a neat opportunity for athletes. I'm bringing a men's physique pro as well with me. His name okay. is Duke. Uh, he's doing the show. Duke, he was at the show, the PMBA show that you was at. That she was commentary. He was um he was an amateur um Asian guy, but he also he looked like a pro that day. He was only two on stage. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you remember. Really good physique, did classic as well as well. He's he's on team showtime now, so he's actually gonna make his he's gonna do his first show at that show this year. Because he was looking for other shows to branch out of PMBA as a oh. pro. So he haven't I don't think he has actually competed as a pro yet. So this probably may be his pro debut as well. Oh, that's so, awesome. So does he live over there in the Tampa area? Because I yeah. know that's okay. He lives in Tampa as well. So it's, it's a great opportunity for him. And we talked about it. So I'm bringing him with me to the show. We'll have to compete, but it's all, I mean, it's all fun until we get to the quarter turns. But <laughs> we'll, we'll chop it up after that. <laughs> so I, I, Eric's confirming Saturday and Sunday. Yes, I am. Oh, he is coming in. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you're going to go down to Florida. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's going to be fun. <laughs> See, I love these lives. They're all full of surprises. Yeah, yeah. That was a surprise there. I just talked to him earlier today. Well, I didn't, I didn't tell him I was going either, but still. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. I like I like birthday. He's a good energy, man. Good good person. All right. We, have, we had so much. I, on our storyline, I try to highlight some of the, the moments, but we had so many moments at Florida that was like outside of competition, like on stage, just having fun with one another. So uh, just the professionalism of each other, man. So I, I like to compete with Bourbon. He's a great competitor. No, no one to ever sleep on. He's a top. Now he's top four for a reason on call. Top top four on called out for a reason last year, or top three. That's so, right. But, so. Yeah. The only advantage I think, let's see, he's competed in the ANBF already this year. Yeah. So, you know, that may be a little advantage that he might have. Um, yeah. He, and he won, I believe he won that show. So, yeah, he did win that show. He did. So he's coming in with that momentum and, yeah. you know, with comfort of already maybe being in, in front of some of the ANBF judges, or at least in front of Kent. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but no, not, not that. That'll stop you, but <laughs> oh, it's Florida. It's I am Florida, too. Showtime. Man. Sorry, yeah, sorry, Mark. It's, 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 it's Florida and Showtime is there. That's 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 say life. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, so we have um, like I said, we have Josh Stone King coming in too here in a few minutes. Um, and we have some more big announcements to make. But back to this uh, here. I'm just going to throw this up really quick. So back to this. Natural bodybuilding is going to be at the Tampa. Um, uh, strength and fitness expo and like I said they have so many different things going on there at one time which allows so many eyes to be on our sport and this is going to be this show is going to be hosted by ANBF by Kent Beerley it's funny because the um 
Chris, who runs this whole expo, had reached out to me a couple of years ago when I was promoting, and we had kind of brainstormed the idea of bodybuilding being part of the expo, and I just wasn't ready to, like, step into that quite yet. And he contacted mm-hmm. me again. Of course, then we went through COVID. He contacted me again, and I said, you know what? I'm, I'm not promoting right now. I go, but <laughs> I, I have the right man for the job. And I reached out to Ken, and I said, hey, you know, if you do this, I'll – I will give you a helping hand. I think it would be great for natural bodybuilding. And he didn't even hesitate. He was like, yes, I want to do this. I want to be part of this expo. I want this, I, you know, I, I want natural bodybuilding to to be part of this. And I want the eyes to be on our sport. And I want the exposure. And so he's doing this. He's planning this, you know, guys, he lives up in New Jersey. So for him just to jump right on that, I think is amazing. Yeah, so... And a lot of moving parts. You know, it's two days. It's not our traditional type of show. Um, and it's all coming together. And then we have so many amazing athletes that are already signed up and committed. No, I'm looking forward to it. Because I've been wanting to do an AMBF show that fits along my schedule. Because um, a lot of their shows are kind of earlier in the season. And it's kind of harder in my later in my season because of the shows I do. But I always wanted to kind of get Kent a try at one of the shows. But so I'm glad it lined up this way where I actually could finally get an opportunity to do an you know, AMBF show. Uh, my goal is this year to do at least a minimum of two new organizations outside of the, the ones I normally compete in uh, with USBF and NGA, which I'm still doing those this year. But I wanted to add two more new federations, which I'm doing GBO. And then this one with AMBF will be an additional one that I'm looking forward to. So, so let me ask you this. What are some of the mental notes that you're making when you're showing up at new shows or new organizations? What Do you have like a, a mental checklist or certain things that you're, you're, you're processing and thinking about? Just the flow, the flow of it and the vibe of the show. Um, check-in process is definitely important to me. I can get a good vibe off of are they really excited for us being here or not or, or are we just here just to be here? Uh, I kind of I like that feeling as well where I do feel like we're welcome at check-in, you know how it is at some shows and at some promoters. It's just So um, the process of that is definitely very welcoming. As long as I feel welcome in that process and then it's very organized, of course, um, where the process itself is very easy to communicate because I am a little bit of a needy needy uh, athlete. So I ask a lot of questions regarding like... <laughs> um, you're, a, you're a needy guest too, just so you know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I try to get a slideshow. <laughs> hey, 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 this don't, hey, this is an experience. This is a lifestyle show type. <laughs> this is not the front. <laughs> this is a real thing. <laughs> but now I like to get my edge calls. I like to know like the time frame we have on stage for individual routines. Like, do can we pick our songs? Not just that. Like, are we are we? Can, is it a straight through show? Do pros go first? Most importantly, that's that's number my my uh, my number one question. Normally, at a new show, you just never know the order of events. Um, right. so, like like before, Florida, because of the biggest how how big the class is expected to be, we had to do two um, pre judging and um, live judging for finals, which is fine because you know that going into the show. But I would like to know those type of things going into a show. That way, I could plan with my coach and my mm-hmm. team my meal plans, my schedule for the day. Come forward, I started at 4 a.m. because you want to be ready for pre-judging as well as you want to kind of pace yourself for the rest of the day as well. So it's just, it's a lot of things you got to come in as a professional athlete that you want to check off, but you also want to be able to have those questions asked and the the promoter be prepared for those type of questions. So just Mm -hmm. being able, very very organized, of course, the flow of it, Um, hiccups happen, so that's not a big thing for me, but just for if I feel welcome, I can tell it's organized, and I have space. I'm I'm good on that. Yeah, I like how you mentioned check-ins, um, because I think that's overlooked sometimes at a lot of shows, and that's kind of like the first your first experience, like w- meeting mm-hmm. the promoter. Um, and I think more promoters need to put some more effort into like the check-ins, uh, make it a little bit more, you know. Like, like you said, you want to have fun. You know, you want to be able to meet people. You don't want to stand in line for a long time. Um, yeah. But at the same time, you want to have, like, that warm, fuzzy feeling at check-ins. I think that's really important. And because there's a lot of nerves, too, going on, especially if you're a new athlete. That's, like, a lot of nerves at check-ins. And yeah. any time a promoter can ease that, I think that's really important. Because th- it's always the 
the biggest part about the penis, the unknown, man. So the most, the more you want to eliminate the unknown about a show, the easier it, it calms us and makes our day better and makes it us focus just on competing. But if I have to worry about the schedule, if I have to worry about the promoter, if I have to worry about the show going to start on time, the athletes meeting, I have to worry about if all this stuff wasn't informed to me but prior to then if I if I'm doing uh sometimes they tell you right at check-in, oh, by the way, today we're doing a um on the fly, we're doing a um I forgot what it's called, I think it's an eye walk where you come out and just do three poses. Right. And then you come out and do three poses before you actually do pre-judging, just to get yourself warmed up and get the nerves out. But them judges looking at you, soon you step on stage, judges are looking at you. Soon you step on stage, judges are looking at you. So if you don't inform me prior to that, me being I, I mean, I did four, I did five shows last year. I mean, four pro shows. So me having a little more, then I did a lot of big shows. So me having a little more experience, I it won't hurt me that much or rock my boat or throw me off my schedule. But someone that's new, hey, go out there and do three poses real quick. What pose I should do? I don't know. Oh, what, what yeah. Do? Total deer in a headlight. Look, yeah. Don't look at me. I ain't going to help you on show day. <laughs> Don't, don't look at I'm not gonna help you on show day. Hey, showtime what up? Hey, you better go out there and have fun. I tell people <laughs> you better go out there and have fun. But I mean, but I mean it, it's different. And mm -hmm. I, I think that when you eliminate the the more unknown about the show, the easier it flows and it makes it a better experience for the athlete. Absolutely, absolutely. So, okay, again, you're gonna be showing up at the Tampa show. It's the A and B F Tampa Clash, and that is August um 28th it's it's 27th and 28th the pros are going to be competing on the 28th and um yeah so thank you for announcing that on our show today now you yeah. can get one of those cool posts that jay got on their instagram so Ooh. yeah so um <laughs> I, know I, now, gotta, I gotta approve those pictures they better send yeah, me approval <laughs> i know you, you you better get them in quick because you know me if you don't respond within like 30 seconds I know, I know. i'm picking a post <laughs> 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 I'm like, is there a picture you'd like me to use? And he like responds three hours later, and I'm Keith. I like, I've already made the poster and, and posted it. I'm like, where have you been? It's like, oh yeah, I was people work. That day. Yeah. I was trying to work a little bit. <laughs> so, so right now we're gonna go into the second half of this show. Okay, so hold on one second. This is this is exciting, guys. This is what you've been. Doing. All right, we have Josh Stone King. Oh Breaking news, my friend. How cool is that? <laughs> my God, my God. What up, Ghost? <laughs> Thanks for having us. I really appreciate it. This is awesome. Absolutely. So, what is this breaking news that you guys have to share with the natural bodybuilding world? to let Showtime make this announcement and I'll provide some context and clarity behind it after he breaks the news. But I can tell right, you this, right. it's something we've been dreaming up for a very, very long time. Showtime, yeah. take it away, man. The community been asking for it. The street's been asking for it. It's for the culture. Um, so me and Josh, I recently came by. I, me and Josh, we are doing our own show. We are hosting a show. We call it the Showtime Classic. It's coming out April um, next year. I originally wanted to do it at 2024 when I, I wanted to take a little time off next year and really plan it. But then I got wind that Josh was also looking to do a show. I'm like, oh, and so I've been having so much people asking me what I'm going to what I'm gonna actually do a show. And I, when I found out Ghost is wanting to do it as well, I'm like, perfect. I'll pair it with him all day because, you know, I'm a numbers guy. So, I mean, because for me and him, do it together, ease on both of our stress and combine both our resources and we, especially because we are very similar vibe i can't pick no better person to run a show with than my guy josh appreciate it and guys this is something we've been talking about for a long time and yeah we we have a really unique concept behind it as keith and i we've been doing this a long time and, and really are focusing on passing back right so we want this basically to be the amateur extravaganza of the east coast we will have some pro divisions of course but we really want to focus on the amateurs. And since this is the Showtime Classic, right? And you guys kind of see what we do for a living and the way we dress and carry our lives. We want to carry just who we are into the show. So this is going to be a big production. We're going to have a red carpet event. 
It's going to be based off of like a movie atmosphere. We'll have media there. We want everybody dressed to impress when they come in check-ins. The awards will be really cool, you know, like a Grammy style award for our, you know, second through fifth place winner. We may have some special ghost awards going out. So we want to really bring the attention to the amateur athlete, make them feel like a movie star, a celebrity, because it's such a big deal when you prep to do your first, second or third show and you're still working your way up through the ranks. So, you know, Keith and I came up with this concept and there's no better person to be the face in the Showtime Classic when we're rolling out the red carpet. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah, and then to add to that as well. So we talked about the amateur side. Like, let me talk about my ladies. Now this is for my queens. I mean, because we know we know I'm a huge fan, and I have so many bikini girls on the team. Showtime. So I'm doing this for y'all. We're gonna only have one pro category this year. I'll try to do figure next year. <laughs> we'll see how it. We'll, see, we'll try to stand it. But this year I'm just gonna do bikini open and masters and bikini open and masters and it's going to be the queen of the south award queen of the south award so and we we coming out we coming out swinging hard we giving out a guaranteed bag at the show off road we giving out a guaranteed bag at the show so payout will be 1500 for first uh 1000 i'm sorry <clears throat> 1500 for first 500 for second 300 for third and then for masters we're giving out 1,000 for first, 500 for second, and we're giving out 300 for third. So we're giving out guaranteed payouts um, for this show. Guaranteed payouts for the Queen of South Award. You want to talk about what else they get with their uh, with their with their cash, Josh? Yeah. So on top of the big check and the big bag, as Keith calls it, you guys are, aren't the Queen of the South for no reason. So you guys will absolutely get a crown, and it'll be a crown to be worth. Um, wearing into the airport and onto the plane as you leave as queen of the south so it's something that we want you guys to be very proud of um, we expect it to be extremely competitive we are holding this competition early on purpose right we strategize with a lot of other promoters where this could be a great early feeder show into the some of the larger competitions for example like daryl's show with the florida pro we want to get people ready early and often so they can have a full season because it's something Keith and I got to experience personally as athletes to run a full season, you know, just like a football season or a basketball season. And it's something that I hope others get to experience instead of just the one show and done. So we're hoping to promote that early on in the year to kind of get the ball rolling and keep those athletes in shows and definitely looking forward to the selfie of whoever the queen of the South is rocking that on their Southwest flight on the way back home. So I'm looking forward to that, Keith. And then on top of that, we got one more. We got one more. We on top of the crown, we're giving out a Queen of the South robe. And this goes for both open and masters. We're giving out a Queen of the South robe and we're giving out championship belts. So we're giving out championship Woo! belts to the women that win the show. So you, you're gonna you're gonna go out in style. You're gonna go out in style. You go home with a check, nice entry off the check, get your belt, your crown, your robe. You're gonna get the full treatment, ladies, the full treatment. Take care of our ladies that come out. We're expecting a, a huge turnout. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how proud we are and honored we are to be able to have this ability to put on this show. Um, like I said, you heard me say, we've been talking about this for years and to finally see it coming to fruition, especially in our home state of Florida. And we wanna make this very clear. This is not a Florida specific event. Get on the plane, come out and see us, okay? We will ensure this will be worth your time and efforts to travel, um, especially for those pro bikini girls. We know you guys are far and wide, and there's top competitors from California, from New York, from Michigan that come down to see us. We want to see you ladies on the stage, and we ensure you we are going to put on a, I almost said a swear word, a freaking clinic <laughs> when it comes to what happens on this show, right? Um, we'll have plenty of media coverage, magazine coverage, news coverage, red carpet. We want to see you guys in your best dresses for check-in. We want to see the guys in their best shirt and tie. We want to see that swag. We want to see that style. It's basically going to be the Showtime Classic for a reason. It's a mini movie production, and we want to make sure that these athletes get all the recognition that humanly possible. And what me and Keith talked about is we hope to see a lot of our novice amateurs or amateur winners go on to later shows in the year and turn pro, right? We want to help them. We don't want to just promote. We want to pass back what we have learned, what we've experienced. I mean, Keith has won every show known to man. I've been doing this. This is my ninth straight year competing. 
Uh, that shows how old I am. So it's time for us to share some of that knowledge and help guide these amateur reps into their goals and their paths to set them, you know, on a very successful road, just like keep an eye on that. And we, and we, and our ears is to the streets. <laughs> like we actually, I communicate back and forth with both amateurs and pros bikinis, just picking their brain on ideas that they like um, to see what pretty much drive them to shows or what about this show you like and what about this you didn't like. So we try to, as an athlete myself, we know coming from our professional experience, we both men's physique guys, but we also want to make sure that everyone has the same experience. And on top of that, because it is the queen of the South, We'll be doing for our amateur bikini class. The winner of the bikini class gets a return next year for free admission to be able to compete at the pro level. So that way we're giving a reason to come back to the show to try to get your shot at the Queen of the South title. Guys, I love oh. this. You love it, Sammy? I was going to say, what are your thoughts? I love Sammy's it. And it. yeah, I am going to throw out here. I have some questions, some good questions here in the comments. Where will this show be held? This is coming from one of our top pro masters uh, bikini competitors. She wants to know. That's from Angela. And myself are in with three different cities at this point in time, all in Florida. Um, we are vetting out multiple venues. Let me just say that at this point in time, because we have a clear vision. And you heard us talk about basically a movie production. We want to ensure that the venue has a very large backstage area for our athletes so you ladies can get ready without bumping elbows. And we wanna ensure we still keep that Hollywood vibe that we're looking for. So we're still going through that vetting process. The good news is we have obviously significant amount of time and we'll make those announcements. We'll get all the social media going and we'll start to get that rolling as we come out. And the venue is our primary focus. So I, I know y'all like, dang, where? Uh, we'll be a little hint, a little hint. We'll narrow it down a little bit for you. We're looking at the Jacksonville area, Daytona area, Orlando area. We're looking in that, maybe even bring up Tampa, but our primary focus is Jacksonville, Daytona, Orlando. So really like price gouge, that area. Because our primary focus right now is on our venue. So as soon as we have that venue, you would know. Because we really want that there to feel that that showtime, premium, movie feeling. So we're going to have everything. One thing about us at shows, especially because it's no, it's no rumor that it's a lot of, it's a lot of shows that, that probably been a little more not up to the current trends yet. So we're just trying to really bring it more. <laughs> it <was> well <laughs> we're trying, said. Just trying to bring it more to the current area right now. So we really want to just, that's why we really want to bring on a strong team. So that way we're not just using our knowledge. We're using that everyone we have in our community knowledge because we know so many promoters and we have so much help like in the Daryl example, we have Sammy. We have um, we have so many great promoters in the area that we all know because we're both Mr. NG. This is going to be an NGA show to classify. It's going to be an NGA show. I won Mr. Universe last year. Josh won it three times before. So we're both NGA guys. So we just want to do a show for our federation. Now we know as well that we accept so many to come in as well to perform. And it's also going to count towards their registration. So that way... OCB could have somewhere to go, and Jay could have another pro show to go, uh, IPE, NFF, all those pro organizations that's affiliated with NGA will have another pro show, and then it actually pays, because when you think about it, bikini ladies, you don't get a bag of that high up until you get to the championship shows. Um, you get 1,000, 1,000, kind of like the high point of, it, of your seasons. So to get one that early to April, it's a great opportunity to really showcase, especially because we're still keeping the master class in there as well. Um, so we're definitely going to really hopefully meet all the expectations, but the venue will be announced really soon on that aspect of it. So Related with the NGA guys, and you know, we've had a lot of mentorship, as Keith alluded to. And one thing that we, we find to be very beneficial to be affiliated with the NGA is we accept just about every single other federation's pro card, right? We want this basically to be open to all pros. We want to open, you know, an invite to every single IPE, NFF, OCB, WNBA pro that is natural, obviously, right? To come out and put on your best for us. Um, we want to extend an open invite to everybody. Sammy, yeah. Yeah, I love that. And you know what? I just got some uh, some more information in. This just in, is that, is that how they say it? Uh, the winner of the amateur bikini and overall at the Showtime Classic will get a free pro entry to the Florida Pro 2023. 
Nah. That's correct. Yeah. Woo! Big Daryl. So there, there we are, right? Feeding, you know, some great athletes into the Florida Pro, which as you guys know this year, we got to give props to an absolute stellar show. <laughs> you know, it's basically the Super Bowl of natural bodybuilding this year. Poor Keith had to hold his breath for about 14 minutes on stage flexing those abs. And I'm glad I just got to be there to watch with you, Sam. So <laughs> happy to hear that. You know, and I want to thank Daryl and Holly, you know, basically the first family of natural bodybuilding when it comes to promotion. And they've been stellar to Keith and myself for sure. Yes. Yeah. Well, you definitely have my support. Uh, I keep trying to leave natural bodybuilding and then the people that I love keep doing big things and pulling me back in. So we got to bring the green <laughs> team together. This is, this is the 96 Bulls. We need everybody together. Yes. I like <laughs> we need everybody it. Together. We need Sammy on the we need Sammy on the team to do all the production. We're going to make it work <laughs> one way or another. We're going to need her on the team to do all the production. And then we um and then what we also have a, a verbal commitment for. I talked to Gil Magazine. This is what I this is what I want to do for just the amateurs. This is for you guys. This is for the amateurs. So I'm doing a magazine cover. It's gonna call it the Showtime Classic or the Showtime magazine premiere, however we can get the title together. Um we're doing a magazine featuring just the amateurs. So all the amateurs that win their classes. So we're offering bodybuilding classic. Bikini, um, man's physique, bikini. Um, I said bikini already. Oh, also bikini model. Right. Uh, um, so I, I do. I am gonna add bikini model in there because I do like that class. <laughs> and so we're gonna have mostly all the amateur categories, and the winners of all those categories will be featured in the Get a Magazine. And the cover spot will be held for the bikini overall winner. They will have the front cover of that magazine. So. Ooh. And I've got that verbal commitment set up. That issue will come out in May 2023. Yep. I mean, what an honor, right? I, I hope, you know, many of these bikini amateur ladies, that's a bucket list activity to be, you know, published in a magazine, first of all. Second, be a cover model. That's a big deal. Um, I can tell you just from Keith and myself's experience, um, humbly, we've been published. We've been put on covers. It really does catapult your bodybuilding career, um, especially from the female side of things. Because, you know, if, me, if Keith and I can, you know, gain some things for, positively from it. I'm sure, you know, the bikini models and bikini athletes can as well. So we're excited that, you know, Gidham was able to partner with us and thank Ernest for that partnership. And that should catapult a lot of people's career for promotion without a doubt in my mind. You guys have it all I, covered. I, I love this. I can't wait, man. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. This is coming in hot. <laughs> I got one more. So with registration, we're doing a ticket special. So when you buy three tickets, you get the next one free. So that way, when you have those big groups of family of fours or more, we can at least take care of at least one of your tickets for you. So when you get three tickets, your fourth one would be free. That, that's well thought out. Yeah. And, and you know, Sammy, to, to be honest, you know, Keith and I talked about this many times and I won't share this often is, you know, I want to make this very clear. Him and I are getting into this for the athletes, right? Um, we, we talked, you have to talk numbers and we talk money and we're happy to take a loss at this between him and I to ensure our athletes have a great experience. So I just want to put that us. out there. Yeah. yeah I, I want to put that. Us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is why there's two of us. So, but I want to put that out there that, you know, this is something we're doing as a passion project. Um, we don't have an ulterior motive. We want to put on, you know, one of the best amateur shows and bikini pro shows that we can in the entire East coast. And we hope to make it a memorable experience and a positive experience for all of those athletes because, you know, Keith and I, we've done a lot of shows. We talk about shows that we'll never forget that were so positive and some that were just so terrible, right? It doesn't matter what you're in. There's always good and bad. So we're hoping, you know, with our knowledge of how many shows we've done together over the years to kind of start out on a little bit of the better side of things, if not the above average, you know, and then continue to progress. So we're going to work real hard to focus on the athletes, make them feel loved, special, and like we're going to Hollywood, guys. So whoever wants to compete, make sure you have to purchase a dress or a suit also. We got a red carpet event, and I can't wait for the media day. It's going to be awesome. Wow. I know there's fun. a lot of athletes out there that are super pumped right now. It's, it's that. I can't wait, man. Me and Josh, we're purposely uh, – we talked about taking a longer offseason, so this is going to really give us a lot of time to really – have fun with this event and not really have it be um, have our prep get in the way of anything in this process because 
we really want to give it our all on this project, man. We really want to have it like we're not going to have it at a high school. It's not going to be at that's going to be at a real venue. It's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And uh, nothing wrong with high school events, but we want it to be more of an inter, uh, intimate setting. So we do want it to be more of that theater, art studio. So let's, we're going to have it where in a way where we have enough space, but we also want it very intimate. So we, and we want it. So we definitely going we gonna, to we gonna put our work in it. We're going we gonna to have fun with this one. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Me and Josh, we very excited. So when we talked about it, we got we got excited immediately. Like it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's well, gonna be fun. I can feel the heart that you guys are already putting into the planning of this. So I have no doubt that it is going to be over the top. Um, and you're going into it with the right mindset. Uh, like you said, a passion project. And that's basically what Subculture Live has been for the last two years. <laughs> and you know what? It's rewarding. Yeah. People, uh, it's not always about the money. Sometimes uh, we all get our rewards uh, in, in, in different ways. And I think you guys are very similar to myself that uh, the experience and the exposure that you guys are going to be bringing to the athletes and to the sport, that will, that will be rewarding enough for you guys. And with that comes other things, comes many other opportunities for you guys as promoters and athletes and models and everything else that you guys are. So, um, yeah, it's not always about the money. So I love that, and I agree 100%, and I know this is going to be incredible. So, of course, you have my support. So. And, and I was just going to say thank you for your support, you know. And yes. Keith, and I, Keith and I said this the other day. What we would love, right, is, is for a novice amateur athlete to come to our show, right, go to the Florida pro turn pro and then win Mr. Or Mrs. Universe. And then, you know, we'd be able to look back and see that we help them get them on that path and, you know, teach them some things to make them fall in love with natural bodybuilding, just like Keith and I am. That would be the ultimate reward for us. And, and I can be, you know, fully transparent. That is exactly why we're doing this besides making the athlete feel special. That's the other part we want to make them realize what a special accomplishment it is to do a bodybuilding show because a lot of people just brush it off as some average event. In Keith, in my opinion, this is a large life event. Uh, you know, it's an absolute privilege to be able to even step on a bodybuilding stage. It is a whole lot of work and sacrifice to balance. And we wanna make sure that they are celebrated at the Showtime Classic, like they're heading to Hollywood. We're gonna shoot a movie with the best bodies in the whole East Coast, I can tell you that. <laughs> You guys, well, thank you for announcing this on Subculture Live tonight. Yeah. I appreciate the opportunity to host this uh, host this show. And, of course, I hope to hear more updates as you guys get uh, further along in the planning. Although I'm going to be seeing you guys on uh, – are you are – you, Josh, this year you're taking off. Is that right? Or were you going to hit the stage? Because I was To be saying, determined, I'll, my friend. Okay. okay. Well, we might have some more go. breaking news. <laughs> Yeah, well, there will, yeah, there will be no breaking news from the ghost. You'll just see me on stage or off the stage. Oh, come on. <laughs> he just appears, man. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> but good try, Sammy. Good try. Almost got me. Almost. Oh man, but no, again, thank you guys for this opportunity to uh, to announce this on the show, and um, we will be seeing. I know I'll be seeing you in Tampa. I know you'll be backstage. Our uh, uh, with with Mr. Showtime here. So we're going to have a great time at this ANBF Tampa Clash. I know Daryl and Holly are going to be there, and I know there's some other um, supporters of natural bodybuilding that are making it a point to be at that event because it is just so, so cool. It's such a, it's such a neat opportunity for our sport to be on such a, a, a big stage in front of so many other um, athletes that aren't necessarily bodybuilders. So, um, yeah. <laughs> the expo. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, so I look forward to seeing you guys there. And again, thank you. I hope you guys have an awesome night. Does anybody um, watching have any questions? I am going to put the link to uh, both of their Instagrams in the comments so that it's just a direct link if you guys aren't following them, which I know many of you are, but if you're a new viewer, definitely go over and follow each of their pages so you can stay up on their journeys and the announcements that they have for this uh, Showtime Classic that's coming up April 2023. Yes, yes, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> all right, guys. Guys, please, any messages sent directly to me and Keith will answer all your questions. Sammy, thank you as always. You're incredible. Yes, Thanks, yes. Sammy. You're welcome. Good night, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye, Josh. <laughs>
All right, guys. So that was our show tonight. Thank you for watching. Um, if you are watching this on Facebook, please head over to the Subculture Live YouTube channel and subscribe and hit all notifications. Um, I'm going to continue to be streaming to both, but eventually I'll probably only be streaming on YouTube. But um, I thank you guys for watching whichever platform you tuned in on. And again, I'm going to leave the links to both of their Instagram in the comments. And I look forward to my next episode. Um, and you guys all have a great night and train hard. Bye.